I'm Neera George Baby from Alua, Kerala, happily working as an assistant at the Office of Advocate General since 2012. I've had an adventurous life so far, as deep as an ocean's dive and as high as a mountain's climb. As a child, I loved playing cricket and badminton with friends. The first plummet came in when I was nine and was playing cricket with my friends. I felt severe pain in my knee and fell down. I complained about it to my parents and they took me to a doctor. Post an MRI and CT scan, I was diagnosed with a small lump on my left upper tibia. Later on, a biopsy revealed that I was suffering from osteosarcoma or bone tumor. Treatment was initiated. I underwent chemotherapy, but unfortunately, the tumor grew in size and uh, my left limb had to be amputated. Thus, I came into the world of the differently abled at the age of nine. It was my zest for life that provided me with the courage and determination to fight cancer and move on. That was a milestone in my life and a whole new world of inclusion to explore. Immediately after my surgery, I started using crutches or baisaki as it is known in Hindi. Well, I feared getting back to school on crutches and um, facing my friends at school. I was fondly surprised and was welcomed with good wishes by the principal in the school assembly. It remains one of my first and the best memories about inclusion. I was the only differently abled student in my school. The teachers made sure that my friends understood my condition. My friends made it a point to include me in various co-curricular activities at school, like singing, playing basketball and cricket. Back in the 90s, Doordarshan was the only source of entertainment I used to watch the badminton championships and the pace of the game attracted me that made me want to play the game. I was determined not to restrict myself to the four walls at home. I started playing the game with friends using a single crutch. The support of my family, friends and teachers helped me to gradually come back to a normal life and by the time I finished school, I was a confident young boy. At college, I took badminton a bit more seriously. I tried to channelize my energy into playing badminton and got professional training and improved my skills. That was a turning point for me as badminton turned from a passion to a profession and I started dreaming of representing my country in the game. In 2007, during the final year of my graduation, I got an opportunity to participate in the Open National Championship held in Orissa, where I was placed as a runner-up in the men's doubles category. Later on, I won national and international medals for the country and today I am an internationally reputed para badminton player. And I have won um, a bronze at the Israel Open Badminton in 2010, a gold at the second French International Para Badminton Tournament in, and uh, a bronze uh, in men's singles and doubles in the third Spanish International Para Badminton Tournament and have represented uh, in many international tournaments. And presently I am involved uh, in mentoring those para players who are passionate about the badminton to come forward and play badminton uh, you know, and on to the next level. Well, my other passion in life is uh, to be closer to nature and trekking and adventure sports uh, give me a great satisfaction also. Mount Kilimanjaro, if you have heard, uh, in Tanzania is the highest peak in the African continent. And uh, it is not an easy trek for anybody. And to do it on crutches is an added advantage and an adventure uh, in itself. I feel elated to share that uh, Mount Kilimanjaro trek was my recent trek. Uh, I chased my dream, summated at the Uhuru peak at 19,341 feet. While I think about the trek, uh, one instance that I really remember is that uh, towards the end um, of the trek, um, I had my guide, uh, you know, with me and um, I said, I can't go again. You know, that's it. I'm really tired. I'm burned out. At that time, what he said to me is that, uh, Neeraj, uh, we believe in you and uh, you have believed in us and reached this point. So we believe in you and you can do it. And with that kind of motivation, I finished uh, 
you know, I submitted the Uhuru Peak. I've always followed certain principles in life. Uh, I would like to share uh, with you all today. Always see yourself in others, to think empathetically and understand what you are here in this world for, for a purpose. To make our life meaningful for others and uh, impart the knowledge that we have imbibed within. As Gautam Buddha has said, do not look a sanctuary in anyone except yourself. Igniting others in thoughts and sharing the same has always been a passion for me and I'm following that path. Well, I've also named myself as Crutch Trekker, a differently abled who treks on crutch and have inspired many with my signature post, Crutch Piece. I hope it will be a reflection to others like me who want to summit those peaks and cross all those barriers to be resilient. I encourage all those differently abled to come forward and not to restrict ourselves and unleash those talents to show the world that we are special. Catch me on www.crutchtracker.com or find me on social media as Neera George. Thank you once again.